Getting an object from point A to point B in a timely way is easy to take for granted. Take Federal Express and UPS, for example. They deliver next day arrival by 10.30 a.m. consistently, and we don't really question how or why. We just trust that they will deliver their service level every time we need them to. But how is it that that package actually got delivered? The ability for shippers like FedEx and UPS to provide that next day arrival was a key inspiration for us at Tulare. When trying to determine the name of our idea, we actually joked that we should have called it FedEx Networks, but mm, we figured the infringement and lawsuits and trademarks would have been uh, the ruin of us. The name aside, the inspirational part of the modern delivery service is the way they intelligently tag and track all their packages as they travel across their logistics networks. Have you ever really looked at the overnight package? You take a single sheet of paper and you put it in this large cardboard envelope. What is up with all those labels and those barcodes, letters, and numbers? What do they actually mean? For us as customers, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that label enables the shipper to track your package every place it goes on its journey from A to B. This information is then fed into intelligent models that they use to anticipate the duration it will take for the deliver of the package via the various methods available to them, planes, trains, or automobiles. And they can actually adapt real time if there's disruptions in the network, such as weather or travel disruptions, while still delivering the package to you at the same time. At Tulare, this inspired us to a similar approach applying an empirical analytical model to the time it takes for traffic to travel over various and diverse networks, allows us to mathematically adapt and anticipate the underlying network so that we may provide similar time-based service to your end users in their traffic. Our envelopes are a bit different. Our math models are different. Even our means of transport is different in that we use diverse networks to deliver our services. We use MPLS instead of trains. We use broadband internet instead of interstate wireless networks instead of airplanes. What is not different is that we provide a highly probabilistic and adaptive service level to you and our end users. Some packages and traffic for your network are so important and time sensitive that if they arrive late, it's of no use. If you have a really important letter, why would you not send it both, FedEx and UPS? You could photocopy it and send it one and the other. And then whichever one arrives first, you take that. The second one, you throw away. We at Tulare use similar methods. For high priority traffic such as voice and video, we can redundantly transmit it using independent low latency networks, utilizing the first arriving packet and squelching the second. This allows us to preserve a high service level regardless of packet loss, latency, or jitter on either of those networks. This provides the highest service level for voice and video for you and your end users. In this way, we ensure every packet is delivered in a timely way that you can trust. Absolutely, positively.